The parts for 6x6 Special Operations Vehicle, shortly SOPS, is a unique wheeled armored vehicle. It is designed for a specific mission. Also, while the current trend is upon 8x8 vehicles, FNSS preferred a 6x6 one, which makes it further interesting. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the parts for SOPS and its intriguing design philosophy. The Pars 4 6x6 SAPS is designed to fulfill the requirements of the Turkish Special Forces Command, one of the most active Special Forces units. So, this vehicle is not the fruit of a conceptual study, but it is shaped according to the real combat experiences. This fact makes the Pars 4 6x6 SAPS worth to be examined. Before analyzing it, let's briefly look at the history and features of the vehicle. Founded as a joint venture in 1989 to produce the ACV-15 tracked armored vehicle for the Turkish army under license, FNSS initiated its own design studies in the early 2000s. One of them was the PARS program. The first fruit of this program, the PARS-1, was unveiled in 2005. Then Malaysia chose it as the base vehicle for its AV-8 program. The fruit of its program, AV-8 Gumpita, had some distinctive differences, so the FNSS called it the PARS-2. Using the experiences of these two vehicles, the company developed the PARS-3, which would be chosen by Oman later. The next step was the more advanced PARS-4. The most common misconception about the PARS is that these four generation vehicles are just derivatives of each other. Like the Prana family of MOVAC, which is today's General Dynamics European Land Systems MOVAC, all generations of the PARS have distinctive differences, which makes them separate vehicles. FNSS defines all of its wheeled armored vehicles as PARS. Even the 4x4 anti-tank vehicle of the company, which has an entirely different design, is named PARS anti-tank. Of course, many of the proven subsystems and concepts used in the first project have also been preferred in the other generations of the PARS to increase reliability and reduce costs. The PARS 4 6x6 SOPS was designed to meet the tactical and operational requirements of the Turkish Special Forces Command. It competed with the Arma 6x6 of Otokar in the tender and became the winning side in 2018. The main difference between the PARS 4 and the previous generation was to supply some of the PARS 3 subsystems by foreign sources. It brought some export license problems. FNSS solved them by agreeing with new suppliers and designing new subsystems domestically. These changes and many other improvements applied by the company have significantly increased the vehicle's performance and made the PARS-4 a new generation. The landmine, IED and ballistic tests of the PARS-4 6x6 SOPS began in 2020. One year later, the company completed the mobility and armament qualification trials. The vehicles were delivered to the Turkish Special Forces Command in 2022. The PARS-4 6x6 SOPS has three variants, Troop Carrier, Command Control and Signal. The last two versions have an auxiliary power unit. The PARS-4 6x6 SOPS has a specific design to carry special operations units to their mission objectives where multiple threats can be in place and provide fire support. The vehicle is equipped with new generation mission equipment that ensures combat effectiveness, safer route planning, command and control, and rapid targeting. The driver and troop compartments are connected by a wide corridor, which can accommodate additional soldiers depending on the tactical situation. The crew and troops can enter and leave the vehicle via three doors, two at the rear and one over the side of the corridor. The seats in the troop compartment can easily be folded and tilted backwards to carry supplies and wounded soldiers without any additional modification. The PARS-4 6x6 SOPS has no vehicle commander. The squad leader sits at the rear. The second commander is placed at the front at the driver's left. These two crew members are also the gunners of the two remote-controlled weapon stations and they can independently control all aboard mission equipment such as tactic radio, smoke grenade launchers, 
thermal cameras, etc. The vehicle has a highly efficient air conditioning system to increase the crew's comfort. Thanks to the external distribution box at the rear, all the PARS 4 6x6 SOPS's communication functions can be sustained even when the vehicle is deployed stationary in a base without running the engine. The hull is made of 6-layered welded modular armor which decreases the production process and costs and reduces the weight. The underbelly has 4 layers. It provides a high level of protection against landmine and IED detonations. Thanks to its V-shaped design, the first layer of 4-layered belly armor directs the shock waves of a landmine detonation to the sides. The second layer has an energy absorbing feature. The remaining blast effect deforms the third layer and squashes the fourth one. This way it is entirely absorbed. Thus, the troops can safely put their feet on the floor instead of the protective bar. The seats are also resistant to mine blast. There are additional composite armor plates and RPG nets all around the hull. A two-person crew can remove the RPG nets in less than one hour. Thanks to their elastic design, in case of a crash, they do not deform. FNSS has not officially declared the PARS 4 6x6 SOPS's protection level. However, it is known that it offers the highest ballistic, landmine and IED protection in the 6x6 armored vehicle class. The company also declares that the PARS 4 6x6 SOPS is more resistant to IED and landmine attacks than many available MRAP class vehicles. The interior of the vehicle is layered with Kevlar plates. The vehicle has two fuel tanks, one with the self-repairing feature and the other inside the hull under armor protection. The survivability of the PARS 4 6x6 SOPS is also enhanced by electronic jammers, a gunshot detection system and 16 smoke grenade launchers. The front vision blocks with 180 degree visibility, electro optics on the remote controlled weapon stations and 14 high resolution cameras provide 360 degree situational awareness for all team members. The cameras are supported with a moving target indication software to detect possible threats better. Thanks to these features, the vehicle can easily be operated under armor, keeping hatches closed all the time. To reduce thermal signature, the exhaust gases are emitted to the ambient environment after they are cooled. The engine is located in the middle part of the vehicle, which makes detection difficult by infrared sensors from the front. The PARS 4 6x6 SOPS is also equipped with an automatic fire suppression system and can be operated in a CBRM environment. There is a thermal and low light camera on the front. The first can better discriminate the shape of an object, while the second has a better depth perception. An algorithm fusions the images from these cameras and provides a better view. Thanks to the position of the engine, the weight loaded on each axle becomes almost equal, which improves the mobility even on soft ground and handling at high speeds. It also reduces the braking distance and the varying rate of the front axles commonly seen in wheeled armored vehicles. The vehicle has a gearbox that provides additional traction power to prevent possible power loss during climbing on soft ground. It is also equipped with a transmission brake to avoid the brake linings overheating while moving down on an inclined path. The first and third axles are steered. It gives the PARS 4 6x6 SOPS a turning radius of less than 7 meters, which is narrower than a 4x4 vehicle. This feature enables rapid maneuver capability in confined spaces, especially in low infrastructure urban areas or woods. The independent hydrodynamic suspensions enable the adjustment of the ground clearance, while together with the central tire inflation system, it increases cross-country mobility. In case of a landmine detonation or malfunction, each axle connected to the hull with 16 bolts can be changed within 30 minutes by one person with the help of a crane with a capacity of 3000 kg. Similarly, the power pack can be changed within 30 minutes under field conditions. The PARS 4 6x6 SOPS is supported by a self-recovery winch with a capacity of 12000 kg. The vehicle is transportable by the A400M, C5, 
C-17, IL-76 or an AN-124 aircraft. The Pars 4 6x6 SAPS troop carrier variant has two Sanjak remote control weapon stations developed by FNSS. The command control and signal versions have only one. The Sanjak can be fitted with a 7.62 or 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. It is a thermal imager, daylight camera and a laser rangefinder. Thanks to its picture-in-picture -picture feature, the gunner can zoom into 8 different targets on the display of the remote control weapon station. The Sanjak with 2 axle stabilization can fire with high accuracy when the vehicle is on the move. It has an elevation angle between minus 20 and plus 60 degrees. So, the Pars 4 6x6 SOPs can engage targets on high ground or low altitude aerial targets. The Pars 4 6x6 SOPs has a length of less than 7 meters, a width of 3 meters and a height of 2.45 meters. Its combat weight is 26,000 kilograms. The vehicle's Euro 3 turbocharged diesel engine provides a road speed of over 100 km per hour. Its range is over 700 km. The Pars 4 6x6 SOPs can negotiate 0.6 m vertical steps and 1.5 m trenches. It can be forced to a depth of 1.5 m. Why did the Turkish Special Forces Command prefer a 6x6 vehicle rather than an 8x8 one? The 8x8 vehicles are generally designed to follow the tanks on rough terrain. So, a special operation vehicle does not require this feature. Still, isn't using a more capable vehicle better? Please remember that the better features are not free. They bring extra costs. Adding an extra axle makes a wheeled armored vehicle 1 to 1.5 meters longer and about 5 tons heavier. Increased weight requires more powerful engines, gearboxes and suspensions which increases the production and life cycle costs. Also, a 6x6 vehicle has a narrower turning radius. It is an essential advantage in confined spaces of urbanized areas or woods. Besides, the Pars 4 6x6 SOPS offers a much shorter turning radius in its class. And thanks to its design, this vehicle has a similar cross-country mobility as its 8x8 counterparts. To better understand this choice of the Turkish Special Forces Command, we should look at its operational areas. Turkey has fought against terrorism in its southeastern region since the early 1980s. Also, this country has been involved in the Syrian civil war. These two mountainous operational zones also have many urban areas with low infrastructure and woods. So, a 6x6 vehicle with high cross-country mobility, in other words, the Pars 4 6x6 SOPS, is the best option for the Turkish Special Forces Command. The Pars 4 6x6 SOPS also has a big chance in the international market. Due to shrinking defense budgets, many armored vehicle producers have given up the development of 6x6 systems for a while. Today, only a few 6x6 vehicles can be accepted as rivals of the Pars 4 6x6 SOPs in the international market. But none of them has this vehicle's design advantages and is not developed for special operations specifically. This situation makes the Pars 4 6x6 SOPs unique. Designed according to the real combat experiences, not conceptual studies, it offers many economic and operational advantages. According to our analysis, this vehicle represents the dawn of a new era. Many countries will acquire the Pars 4 6x6 SOPs or develop similar ones in the future. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes comments and shares.